With the recent update to the Google Chrome browser, I want to point out a slight change that you may already see or will be seeing in the near future. This change involves how we sign into the Chrome web browser. Remember, signing into the Chrome web browser allows you to sync all of your bookmarks, Chrome apps, and extensions to your VVSD Google account. If you're signed in here, in the district, at home, or on the road with your mobile device, your bookmarks will always be with you. On top of that, you'll have quick access to your Valley View Google Drive folder when you're on another computer. Of course, for mobile devices, you'll have to still download the application separately. So in the past, when signing into the Chrome web browser, we used to click on this drop-down menu over here. The icon for it is represented by three horizontal lines, which we in instructional technology like to call the stack of pancakes. You may even hear us call it a stack of tortillas or even the hamburger icon. I guess it kind of depends on how hungry we are. So when you click on this icon, you'll see a variety of options available to you. But the one that used to be here and isn't anymore is a sign into Chrome option. This is one key item that had moved. To log into the Chrome web browser, look for the icon that is located in the upper right hand corner of your browser window. There may be an icon located here that represents the user logged in or a blank unknown guy such as the one on my browser window. When I click on this icon, I'll see the sign into Chrome button. That's it. You click on it, follow the prompts to log in, and then you're ready to go. Here's where we sign in. Enter your login information. Don't forget to add the at vvsd.org. Whenever you see link your Chrome data to this account, always click on link data. And now we are signed into Chrome. And click OK, got it. You should see your photo here if you had added that. You can see automatically my extensions and bookmarks have loaded. You may get some pop-up windows for some of the extensions that you have downloaded and installed. But that is all there is to it. So what I did here was log into my VVSD Google account. If I want to sign into or add another account, the best way to do this is to add a separate user. Adding separate user accounts does exactly what you would expect it to do keep your accounts separate. This eliminates the problems of shared documents attempting to be opened under the wrong account. Sometimes you may see this if you had students sign into their Google accounts on your computer if you do not use an incognito window to have them logged into. So what I'm gonna do here is add another account. This could be your personal account. For me, I'm just gonna load up the VVSD Tech account. I do this by clicking on my username at the top right corner of the screen, and I'm going to say switch person. A window pops up, and I can click on add person. I go ahead and enter that account, so this again could be your personal account. You may have to log in a couple times here. Again, I'm going to link the data, and I am signed in. Click on OK, got it. And now my two accounts are going to be loaded on this computer. If I want to switch accounts, I click on my account that's up here, and then I go to switch person, and I'll see all my users that are logged in. If I want to remove an account, I can click on the carrot over here at the top right, and I can say remove this person. But if I just want to switch, it can easily do that as well. It typically opens them in a new window. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact any of us in instructional technology. Thanks for watching.